the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pause to ask God's mercy. In your infinite compassion, hear us, Lord, who call out to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the virgin martyr, St. Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray, for she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise, and God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong, and God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I commend my spirit. spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock, my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into, Into your hands, hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Re rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to Lord. Jesus said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his glory, and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Today's readings were selected especially for this feast of St. Agatha, one of the early martyrs of the church. Not much was known about St. Agatha, except that among all of the thousands of people who were being put to death and martyred, for Christ, in the name of Christ, because they would not deny their faith or because they openly practiced it, the name of Agatha was remembered as a young girl who strongly stood 
for what was good. Her name means good, Agatha. So her name was raised up even in the early church and placed in the earliest prayers of the church because she reflects precisely the teaching that Jesus gives of one who took up their cross to follow him and Paul's words to us today that he chooses the weak to show forth his strength. Those who count for nothing, a young girl who stood up against a powerful tyrant who stood up for Christ and who was not afraid to lay down her life for him as he laid down his life for her. May we too give ourselves completely to the Lord who has given himself completely to us. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> With trust in God's loving will, let us make our requests known to him. For all members of the church, may God bless us in the service of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For civic leaders, may God grant them fortitude and strength in choosing to promote the dignity of all human life and to fight for that which is true. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the lonely and despairing among us, may they know God's love and consolation in the midst of their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this, our faith, family of faith. May the Lord develop within us hearts of love and stewardship to draw us ever closer to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our beloved dead, may they soon come before the Lord and rejoice in his eternal presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For what else shall we pray? Loving and gracious God, hear our prayers and pour out your grace upon us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Saint Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the strength of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Agatha, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ the Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, especially St. Agatha, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a yes. sign of peace. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Saint Agatha a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a good day, all.